Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show the Uploader, a workflow used to create machine learning classifier skills. Its main goal is to upload to an AI Center dataset files to be used in the skill creation, and also organize the dataset by the types defined in the taxonomy. So, let's go to the workflow. Okay, here we have the Uploader. And basically, it follows the same structure of the workflow from the document understanding videos, up to the point of the classification, but with some changes. I'm gonna talk about them in a minute. So, the first thing I, I wanna point is that in the document understanding videos, I only define one type of document in the taxonomy. For the ML skill creation, we need to define at least one more document type. So this is the first change that I made here in the taxonomy. We have two new document types, phone bills from Qing and electricity bills from Light. All of them have the same fields from the SEG document type. Okay, we can close it. And now to the second change I made, it's here in the classification step. Basically, we are not using the machine learning classifier, but instead the intelligent keyword based classifier, along with obviously the pretrains for the two new types of documents Light and Chin, and here's SEG. So we can save it. And here, in the main workflow, we have the biggest change we made. We added this new box here, the train classifier one. Here is where the, the documents are going to be uploaded to the dataset and also organized. Let me open it quickly. So here we are using the train classifiers scope that has some inputs that are very familiar to us. The document path, document text, the document object model, the human validated classification data and the taxonomy. This classification data here, right, we get it from the after the validation station appears to us, or if none valid, no validation is needed, we also get it, right, from these two steps here. Okay, and inside it we have the machine learning classifier trainer. Here is where the documents are uploaded to the dataset. It only has two inputs, the project in AI Center that we are using, and also the data set inside the project. So this leads us to the first step that needs to be made. We have to create a data set here in AI Center, a empty data set. I have here mine, uploader demo, we can see that it's empty, and okay, this means we can continue. Right. So we must now uh, open here the configure classifiers tab. And here we must define the folders in which these documents from these types will be stored in the dataset. So originally these boxes are empty and we must only fill them with the corresponding names. So for the SAG documents, we're going to have the SAG folder. For the team documents, we have the team folder and to the light ones, light. Okay, we don't have to use this gear icon for now because we don't have a skill, so we can just ignore it. And we can hit save. Perfect. Now the only thing left is to effectively run the workflow. The last thing I wanna point before I run the workflow is that I have here in my document processing folder these three documents, one for each type I define in the taxonomy. The ideal quantity is five doc documents for each type, but for now I will keep it just one for each to facilitate our demonstration. Okay, we can close it and now we can run the workflow. So the idea here is that every document in the document processing folder is going to be recognized by the intelligent classifier and then is going to be allocated to its corresponding folder in the dataset. 
This is done by the machine learning trainer activity. So we now have to wait for every document to be processed. Alright, all documents were processed, and now we can go to the AI Center to do the rest of the things, right? So we have here our dataset, uploader demo, and inside it we can see the three directories, SAG, Light, and Ping, each one with one document. Okay, as I said, the best quantity to start is at least 5 documents to each type, so keep that in mind when you're trying to test our workflow. So, the next step is to create an ML package to be trained with this dataset so this queue can be created. For this, we just hit the ML packages tab and go here in the out of the back box packages. Click it, go to the UiPath document understanding. And now the document classifier one. We can choose the package version here. 3.0 is the latest, latest version, so we can use it. We hit submit, and now we can define our package name. I'll just put ML demo. Okay, here's the package version. Here we can provide a description, and also an input description, and also an output description but it's optional, so we'll just leave as it is. And we can also provide a OCR engine, but it's optional, so I'll leave it with no OCR. We just hit submit and the package is created. So I will not submit this one because my package is already created. You can see it here, ML uploader demo. And you can see that it has a two versions. The starting one, 3.0, and the 3.1 because I already trained it with the five documents of each type. To train it, we just have to create a pipeline. So you would grab your recently create, newly created uh, package, hit here, create new. We choose a train run. Now we choose our package, in my case, the ML uploader demo, the major version, the minor, in the case 0, and the input dataset that our activity populated, so the uploader demo 1. And then we can just click create and the pipeline will start to run. I will not run the pipeline because mine is already here, run, it's successful, type train version 3.0 and the pipeline will then generate the 3.1 version. So after pipeline is finished we have to just create the ML skill. For that, we click here on ML skills, create new, and once again, name our skill. I'll call it skill demo. The package, major version three. And now you have to choose the latest version, latest minor version, so 3.1 in my case. And then we hit create skill. My skill is already created and it's already available because when you create the skill it has some time to deploy and then be available after but after it is available it is ready to be used you can go to any ML classifier and choose the skill there for example we can go to the workflow from the classification videos and here it is ML skill we just refresh here and then search for the skill. Here it is, skill uploader demo. And then we just have to follow the same steps I followed in the classification video. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.